What is the most resilient parasite? Bacteria? A virus? Uh, what Mr. Cobb is trying to say? An idea. What are you doing here, Doc? I think I found a way home. It's a job for some very, very powerful people. People who I believe can fix my charges permanently. Once an idea has taken hold of the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate. If I get on this plane and you don't honor our agreement, when we land, I go to jail for the rest of my life. Complete the job en route. You will have no trouble getting through immigration. An idea that is fully formed, fully understood, that sticks. Right in there somewhere. Inception. Now, before you bother telling me it's impossible. It's no, it's perfectly possible. It's just bloody difficult. You need the simplest version of the idea in order for it to grow naturally in your subject's mind. That's a very subtle art. So what is this idea that you need to plan? We need the heir of a major corporation to dissolve his father's empire. You see right there you have various political motivations and anti-monopolistic sentiments and so forth, but all of that stuff is um, it's really at the mercy of your subject's prejudice, you see. What you have to do is start at the absolute basic. Which is what? The relationship with the father. They say we only use a fraction of our brain's true potential. Now, that's when we're awake. When we're asleep, our mind can do almost anything. You create the world of the dream. You bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their subconscious. Then you break in and still it. Specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. Are you talking about dreams? On the top level, we open up his relationship with his father. Say, I will not follow in my father's footsteps. Then the next level down, we feed him. I will create something for myself. Then, by the time we hit the bottom level, we bring out the big guns. My father doesn't want me to be him. Exactly. Someone else in there. Fisher, sure it's a trap. Get out. Come on, a little lower. No, she. She is not You might have the rest of the team convinced to carry on with this job, but they don't know the truth. The truth? The truth that at any minute, you might bring a freight train through the wall. The truth that Maul is bursting through your subconscious. And the truth that as we go deeper into Fisher, we're also going deeper into you. So certain of your world, of what's real, do you think he is? Or do you think he's as lost as I was? I know it's real, Mo. No creeping doubts. Not feeling persecuted, Dom. Chased around the globe by anonymous corporations and police forces. The weather projections persecute the dreamer. You keep telling yourself what you know. What? What do you believe? What do you feel? Guilt. I feel guilt, Mom. That guilt is always there, reminding me of the truth. What truth? The idea that caused you to question your reality came from me. The reason I knew Inception was possible is because I did it to her first. I did it to my own wife. Why? We were lost in here. I knew we needed to escape, but 
she wouldn't accept it. I went deep into the recess of her mind and I planted an idea. Sweetheart, what are you doing? But I never knew that that idea would grow in her mind like a cancer that even after she woke. Join me. Just just step back inside. Alright? Just step back inside now. Come on. That even after you came back to reality. Listen to me. I'm going to jump and you're coming with me. That you could Working together, we were exploring the concept of a dream within a dream. I kept pushing things. I wanted to go deeper and deeper. I wanted to go further. I just didn't understand the concept that hours could turn into years down there. That we could get trapped so deep that when we when we wound up on the shore of our own subconscious, we lost sight of what was real. How long were you stuck there? Something like 50 years. Yeah. 